Hello, so um, uh, previously you saw that how a CAD model is simulated inside MoveIt and that's a really interesting concept. I mean, uh, because the CAD that we make are generally dummies for us to refer to it as a design procedure, like how to assemble it, how to manufacture it, or whether it will fit or not. But what if your CAD can actually do a task and it will be more smarter than your calculations, the whole of a calculations can be doing. So that's the main reason why we are using this URDF creation. The Basically, the URDF is nothing but um, a way in which our ROS, the robotic operating system, understands this CAD model. And that's what we are going to create now. First of all, uh, there are different ways of creating URDFs. So you can definitely create uh, other ways of creating URDF is having a different links separately and then you have to define access individually but in this case it's the different story uh, if you are using solidworks you are actually on the good terms um, so you already have this option of uh, export as urdf you just have to install a plugin and after you install that plugin you can definitely uh, have this urdf plugin inside and if you have this urdf plugin inside it makes your job a lot easier trust me a lot easier so uh, before we get started i want to just point out some things to you so as you can see there are two models in front of me and I want to show the main difference between these two models because it's really important that you understand how they are connected to each other. So, as you can see here, uh, you can see rover interface. Uh, that, that this is the part, the base plate. Then uh, turret fix it, fixed. Then motor turret. Then turret flexible. Then as you can see that these are different parts here, and they are not really specifying any links to me. So. And this is the wrist okay but if you see in this one if you see in this one it's like this is link one this is link two this is link three this is link four and this is link five and this is link six I mean the thing is you need to have this kind of movement see this kind of movements you should be having this one as well as this one and then as well this one now it's really important to that you have this kind of movement inside your SOLIDWORKS before even you try to create a URDF now this is a dummy gripper we are going to add a new gripper and don't worry how the assembly is made we are going to go there one by one so and this part is nothing but as you can see this only uh, this base plate moves sorry only the base plate moves apart from it nothing else moves nothing else moves why do you think it's because if you see can you see this like this whole part is one assembly but I, but actually this this part this uh, this part has to be in relative motion to this flexible turret but this is as this is designed as one part we can't really work with it so what i have done here is if you can see that part is completely neglected from this whole assembly so i can have relative motion between this part and this part so uh, this is a really important to understand that you uh, like first thing is you have to create different links which are going relative to each other first instead of having multiple assemblies so creating this assemblies is really important so that was the first step into understanding how the urdfs are working so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna shut this thing down don't save anything and again i think I'm just gonna keep this as a reference now and I'm gonna create a new assembly and this is a new assembly that I'm gonna create after I do this um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna insert some things so if I go to my URDF model I will just go to link one import link one okay this looks better okay now after I place the first link I'm gonna import the second link go back put the second link there you are 
now now i want to just put this link into this one so now we want to create a revolute joint between these two links how are we going to do that so for revolute joint you have to un un always understand there should be one surface joint and there should be one concentric joint so let's establish let's establish our first uh, surface joint so for me the surface joint will be this i'm going to say mate and i think it it should the mate should go okay i think okay i think i cannot see that uh, part where i want to mate it so i'm just going to go ahead and uh, change the transparency of this thing okay now it looks good now first thing is what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a surface constraint and we'll go here the next constraint will be the concentric constraint and it will go to it will be concentric to this part now if you see i am good to move and this should be possible this should be possible that's a really important step while we while you are de de defining a robot or while you are assembling a robot okay now after this uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to insert on one more part i'm going to insert now link 3 okay i think i'll just change the orientation to z axis yeah that, that looks fine okay i think i should um move it like okay this is okay now again one surface and one uh, one so concentric so i'm gonna be placing this part to i think this part to the surface constraint now again a concentric constraint there you go now they have a concentric now as you can see this part is also moving okay uh then this and uh this one there you go you are done corrected and everything works flawless now you have your robotic arm ready fine so we have ourselves a robotic arm that is assembled in a very good way instead of this one which is definitely a good model by its own and this model can be used like for example this model has more details like uh, it has screws it has like bolts like w whatever you need to actually as uh, like uh, perform an assembly of this whole thing so definitely this model is gonna be useful for like for for us to have a good assembly for now but you know for urdf you don't really need those screws right now you just need a part you just need a link and you just need to have uh, established a revolver joint between them and you don't really need all those details right now okay so i'm gonna save this part save all and i'm just gonna say save 